man, it's kind of hard to believe it's been a couple months, I think, since I uploaded my last video. Uh, honestly, this video is just a quick, simple little tutorial just to kind of get back in the swing of things. I, I've taken a little bit of a break from YouTube, and uh, it's always a little hard to get back into it with, with some larger projects and things. So, yeah, so this video is just kind of breaking, breaking ground on that again, and I uh, try to keep it quick and informative. Hopefully this will be helpful to someone. What I wanted to share was a easy way to add a little bit of life to the tech system in your game. So this is something that I used and expanded on a little bit in a roguelike that I made for Game Jam a while back. I kind of condensed it down into this single script just to kind of give you a taste of it and, and give you something to kind of play with. So if I click play on this uh, game and I hit enter, this little sentence just pops up. It's just kind of a random action that the player, the knight, is taking against this enemy. Obviously, nothing's happening. This is this is just you know text showing up on the screen. So, uh, the way that my or or the thing that I actually want to show off in this is the ability for you to do rich text editing through something called BB Code. So we have a rich text label in the game. That's literally the only thing. That's the only node that I've added is a rich text label. And what that label gives us access to is this little drop down right here, BB code. If that's enabled, you'll be able to type into this text box and add uh, custom effects and preset effects onto parts of your text. So the way that I am doing that is through the script attached to the game node, this parent node here. So kind of the way that this works is I have a list of attacks that will happen uh, when the player's armed, I have a list of attacks that will happen when the player's unarmed. Whenever I hit the enter button, we are going to get an attack. Let's focus on that for now. We're going to get an attack, which is this function down here. We check to see if the player has a sword. If they do not, then we grab an unarmed attack. And I've got this cool little, uh, you know, get random element uh, where it just duplicates the list, shuffles it, and then pops off of the duplicated list. That way you don't have to do any weird, like, random integer math for, for getting a random value. So a pretty simple process where we're basically just grabbing a random element in one of these lists. The trick with the BB code is to append BB code to rich text label instead of just appending text or, or setting the text equal to something. We want to append BB code. And then we're kind of concatenating everything together with this get attack. But right now, the way that it's set up is if I hit enter, everything's working great. But what I want to show you the power of is how we can actually add effects to this text. So in the get attack, where I've already got things set up where it's split between armed attacks and unarmed attacks, if I attach another little bit of text where I say something like color equals red, I close that. And then I'm also concatenating this. Let's expand this out. Same thing on the back side, and we close that tag. And I'll, I'll show you what, where this is coming from. So in the docs, which I recommend checking out, uh, there's this entire section about BB code in rich text label. So what I'm showing you, I've already kind of talked about that. What I'm showing you is actually this tag right here, the color tag where you can specify a color for that subset of the text. But that's not the only tag. There's tons of tags that you can investigate and look into, uh, tons of different building colors. So now if I, if I change, let's actually give the player a sword so that we can see the effect of this BB code. Now if I run this, I'm still getting a random word, but the, the word has a color element to it now. So it it just adds a little bit of life. I mean, nothing too complicated. I can do the same thing for the unnumbered attacks, and just to give a little bit of variety to kind of what the player has access to, uh, we could give it a different color. So what if we call this aqua? And then we ran this. And we would have to unarm the player or disarm the player by taking away the sword. And then if I run this, so you imagine if you were making a roguelike and there was kind of an event, event system, uh, they could get disarmed and then the colors would change. And it's just a nice little visual indicator to the player uh, that something something is different. You know, these, these verbs are different in, in more ways than one. So that's the idea. I'd highly encourage you to read more about all the abilities you have with uh, BB code through Rich Text Label. You can, you can do all kinds of stuff. Obviously, you can 
define your custom colors, which I would I would highly recommend because I think it gives you a lot more you know coherence amongst your project rather than than using the presets. Uh, but you can also do these animation effects, which is really interesting. Let me pull in one of the presets here, wave effect, and uh, yeah, tornado shake, fade away. But the cool thing is that beyond the presets, you also have custom tags. You can define these custom tags. And that's not something that I've done, but there's a couple examples down here in the docs uh, that'll show you how to do that. And yeah, I think I think all of this is kind of in the name of adding uh, juice, right? Juice to your game. Just simple, simple little things that you can do to add a little bit of life to a game that may be fully text-based or, or at least mostly text-based. Uh, you never know. Okay, I thought that I could kind of wrap that. Oh, I need, I need this one here too. Okay, so now, yeah, now it's blue and it might be a little hard to see, but there's like a little bit of a wave effect. So, so yeah, that's that's all I really wanted to show. Just a simple little thing. If you wanted to expand this entire system out into their own nodes and, and these event systems, then you could definitely do that. You could build on an entire uh, system where you're passing in the type of event that you want to get. So you would say attack, and then there would be further logic around what types of attacks to get. So, uh, yeah, I think there's a lot of power here, but a uh, short video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm definitely looking forward to getting back into making videos. This, again, was kind of me just breaking ground on that again. So, uh, yeah, good to be back, and thank you for watching the videos, and hope everything's going well for everyone. Hope you're staying safe, and I'll see you in the next video.